Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we got the Legacy United Gears finally out in stores so I've got my hands on it and it's pretty interesting <laughs> so yeah uh, Gears a uh, little uh, Vicon uh, smaller version now easily deluxe is it deluxe? Does it say? oh yeah deluxe class it is right here so I'm not too sure anymore because the size keep changing even though they are leader class there's the size of Voyager and whatever so it's kind of confusing now but uh, yeah, apparently Magmatron just came out also in Asia, so oh, can't wait until he comes out. But uh, yeah, in the back here we have the robot mode, the truck mode, and 12 step, yeah, okay. And he's pretty simple to transform, nothing too complicated. On this side we have a nice art face, and that's pretty much it, so let's open up the box. And there we go, nothing else. So first off we have, well, legal stuff, nobody reads, we don't care. We have instructions. Uh, on the other side maybe, oh, start. Yeah, okay, that's, that's what it's called. Yeah, pretty big instructions for such a small figure. So first off we have to uh, plug in the chest so the chest doesn't come installed on gears as you take it out of the package. And that was confusing because I was looking through all the, the boxes in the store and none of them had the, sh the, the chest shield and I was like, everybody got stolen or maybe a bad batch? No, it's just the chest uh, plate is inside like a, the, it's kind of like inside the toilet paper thing right here with the gun insert. So it's, you know, don't be scared. <laughs> so yeah, got a couple of steps here for transformation. And on the other side we have the vehicle mode and uh, that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, a pretty easy transformation. And over here we have, well, here. <laughs> so I, have a, I do have the shield, uh, the, the, the chest already installed on mine. So there you go, but you just, it comes undone. And of course I can't pick it off now, but basically, yeah, it, the chest is removed and <laughs> you just have to pick it on. And now that it's pegged on, it doesn't come off. So that's yeah, pretty good, it's all good. But yeah, we have gear and he looks really damn cool. I love his small stature. Let's move the camera down because he is pretty small. But uh, yeah, he is smallish and he looks like so, you know, he's squared, he's beefy for a small little figure. He's pretty awesome. I love it. In the back, we do have the backpack. It's not that bad. I like it. It's not that it's like filled up. There's no, you know, emptiness. The legs doesn't feel that hollow. Like a, the hollow leg, like they, they, they are not hollow, we just have like long panel on the side. Kind of like um, we had the sandstorm on the side of the leg. Except the panels are, you know, much better like that. But uh, yeah, like this, looks pretty cool. The head, <laughs> the head is huge. It's all this part right here. So yeah, the head is only ball joint. So it can tilt side to side a bit, up and down, rotate. And we have the arms, we have a butterfly joint like this, so that's kind of cool. We have a swivel and a swivel like this. We have another swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow, like this. The wrist can rotate. We also have the gun, I forgot to show it. But yeah, there you go, just have black gun, nothing to it. With a peg for a Honda handle and a peg on the side for storage. So yeah, as you can see, you can hold it or you can store it on the side of the truck. There you go, like this, storage. So yeah, uh, wrist we did. We have to have waist rotation, we can do a split, uh, the leg can move forward a lot, backward again, and uh, we have rotation of the upper thigh, the knee double jointed, so pretty good, and the ankle can tilt on the side like this, but they don't really go up and down, we do have the heels that flips, but you know, it's for transformation, so yeah. And backpack, well, it's like this, so... Mm. Not much to it, but uh, yeah, really cool. Smallish figure, I love the look of it, he's really nice. We also have like the chest that opens up, and we have sort of like an insert, like a kind of like that one time in the episode where he flips his chest and there's like a cassette deck right here you can insert, so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, let's move on with the, uh, well, we can do a comparison real quick. So here's my little collection of uh, gears that I have. We have the Magic Square right here, the small one. We have the Mecha Fence Toys here. We have the Legacy. We have the Bad Cube. Is it Bad Cube? I don't remember. I think it's, yeah, I think it's Bad Cube gears here. And we have the SXS. And just quick <laughs> side story, but my SXS uh, is missing an arm and I don't know why. 
It, it, he's been on my shelf for years. I he never fell. Uh, he's just in my shelf. That's it. And he's missing an arm, and I don't know why. Even if he would have fallen, he would have fallen on the shelf. He was like in the back of the shelf. I have no idea what that happens. What happened with his arm? I have. It, it just. It's just gone. So the only theory left that I uh, that is possible is that they Toy Story themselves to life. And they fought each other, and this guy lost an arm during the fight. And I have no idea what it is. <laughs> that's that's it. So yeah, whatever. But uh, we have my little collection of gears right here. And yeah, the main competitor, I think it was the back cube. I know there's a fan story that just came out uh, recently. I don't really like it. He's nice and everything, but you know I didn't take it. But uh, I still think the the, the back cube was the main competitor. But you know the legacy is pretty damn good. I really like it. So, yeah. All right, let's move on with the transformation. Transformation, super easy. First, remove the weapon. There you go, like this. Next up, you want to uh, maybe start with opening the backpack like this and open up the wheels like this. Take the head, I like to rotate it completely around. Then you pull the chest out like this. Again, flip out the wheels like this. And then you have like the arms, you just Bring them like this on the double joint, like this, and just bring them inside the torso like this, like this, and just stuff them like this. Basic. <laughs> Next up, you want to bring the uh, whole the backpack here and plug the. Uh, you have a couple of pegs that will go inside the arm. You don't peg in too securely, but you know you just want to do the best you can, and like this. So we have that now. Next up, you want to open up the chest, bring it like this, and now let's work on the legs. Very easy. Flip up the heels, and just bring the legs like this, and you have like a double joint, make sure it goes like this, like this, and this will just go over the top like this. So really simple, like this. It goes stupid, really easy. Then you bring this down, and you have like these two pegs on the, uh, thigh I guess and they will plug onto the chest so one two and then finally the chest you just lift it up looking like this and voila we're done we have the truck all done so it's very easy you have the gun you can plug it on the side here on the side here or instruction tells you to put it here so yeah and you have a couple on top here so you can do whatever you want but yeah, basically you have the truck. Now the main problem is the Yodobalt Pogo here. He is upside down. So, eh, not that great. And we have the whole chest in the back, which doesn't look that good. But, you know, the rest of the truck is pretty decent. It looks kind of like the movie High and High. Like he has like a... He transformed into like this big F-250, I think it's called. F-250 Ford truck. All black. But yeah, he, he does look like that, you know. But yeah, really cool. Let's roll. There's not much to it. I like the the actual wheels are you know off the ground and not like uh, Hasbro always filled up the whole cable until the car barely drags on the, the table. But uh, yeah, you can also close the wheel and make like a hovercraft, I guess. <laughs> it works. Wanna uh, yeah. Now you're not like uh, the instruction doesn't tell you to flip the head around. What I like to flip them around. I don't like it when they peek outside uh, down cycling. Uh, yeah, really cool. Real nice truck. There you go. Comparison, uh, we have where is it? the uh, Bag Cube. Right here we have the SXS, the Mecha Fan Toys, and the Magic Square. So, yeah, really cool. SXS is more like stylized trucks or more futuristic. So, yeah, there you go. We have the Legacy. We have the Bag Cube, which looks pretty good. I really like it. It looks like an like a actual Savannah truck, kind of. So, really cool. I hate the transformation of this one though. <laughs> and then we have the Mega Fan Toys, which looks great. Very G1. And then we have the Magic Square. So, there you go. So, Legacy Gears, really cool, really simple. Truck looks modern, kind of like a F 250 Ford truck, like I mentioned, looks great. The robot mode looks very G1. I love the robot mode. Looks very um, like smallish, but like tough. Uh, like I said, the 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 only problem is like the the, the front here. The cab doesn't peg in too 
securely into the arms. So it yeah, holds like this, but the smallest pressure will unplug it. So yeah, but still very cool. High recommend for me the Lux Gears Legacy. Go ahead and take it. Awesome figure and just came out on the store. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. Alright, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.